Lithium is a moon stabilizer that inhibits adenylate cyclase, alters neuronal sodium transport, and is secreted by the kidney. Half-life is 24 hours, and steady state is reached within 5 to 7 days. It's a drug of choice for acute mania and prophylaxis for both mania and depressive episodes and bipolar disorder, and should be given during the euphoric phase of mania. The therapeutic range is 0.7 to 1.2 millimoles per liter, where the toxic level is over 1.5. Doses are typically 300 to 600 milligrams and taken three to four times per day. Factors that affect lithium levels are very important since there is a narrow therapeutic window along with many side effects when lithium levels rise. Things that decrease lithium levels include ASA such as aspirin and xanthines, carbonic and hydrase inhibitors, and osmotics such as mannitol. Things that increase lithium levels include dehydration, sodium deprivation, impaired renal function, NSAIDs, diuretics, such as thiazides, and loop diuretics. Side effects include tremor, sedation, ataxia, thirst, metallic taste, polyuria, edema, weight gain, GI symptoms such as diarrhea, vomiting, and nausea, benign leukocytosis, thyroid enlargement, hypothyroidism, nephrogenic diabetes insipidus, exacerbation of psoriasis, acne, arrhythmias, prolonged QT syndrome, uh, teratogenic effects such as Epstein's anomaly, seizures, and also it may affect bone formation and density in pediatric patients. As you can imagine, lithium is contraindicated in many patients since their conditions may easily be worsened with lithium. Toxic levels of lithium cause altered mental status, muscle weakness, drowsiness, poor coordination, slurred speech, tremors, coma, convulsions, and death. Therapy for toxic lithium levels is dialysis. The labs that you should order for a patient that wants to go on lithium or is on lithium include uh, CBC, serum electrolytes, TSH every six months, a BUN and creatinine specific gravity, a fasting blood glucose, pregnancy test, an ECG before therapy and yearly during therapy, and of course lithium levels.